For days, the confusion created by new rules at the Iowa caucus has left many people shaking their heads. Well, this year, Democrats in Kansas are also changing the way that they pick a candidate. So what's the state doing to make sure that we don't have a repeat of Iowa? KCTV5's Abby Dodge has been looking into it. She's live tonight in Overland Park. So first off, Abby, what will be the difference between this year and previous ones? Well, Ellen, we are live outside of the Johnson County offices for the Democratic uh, Party of Kansas. It's responsible for the primaries here in the state of Kansas. That's about the only difference between the primaries here in Kansas and the caucuses in Iowa this year. But it's all going to be spelled out in a mailer sent to Democratic voters coming up next month. It's telling because we're going, the future of voting is what we're doing here in Kansas. The caucuses, are the way of the past. And Kansas is catching on. When residents look to cast their vote in May, it will be on paper, not by a show of hands or moving from one side of the room to the other. I think these elections need to evolve and we want to make sure that every every vote gets counted. Not just those willing to wait in long caucus lines. UMKC political science chair Greg Vonami says typical primary elections have faults too. It pressures you in a regular primary election. Well, do I show up and vote for the candidate I like or do I vote for a candidate that has a chance? So the Kansas Democratic Party went with something a little off the beaten path. It's called rank choice voting and this is how it works. You rank each of your candidates from first to last. And then if your first place candidate doesn't meet that 15% threshold, your second choice becomes your first. As a way of, of giving them an opportunity to express their sincere preference and having their vote ultimately counted in the final tally of the ballots as well. But Kansas votes in May, which Vonami says lessens the appeal of rank choice. In a field that's so small, where you're only looking at one, two, maybe three candidates left, they're all probably going to be over 15%. The Kansas Democratic Party says with options to mail in a ballot, cast it in person, and pick more than one candidate, the changes should increase participation. More than anything, make it easy for, for people to vote, uh, increase transparency, and, and make sure that we're, we're accountable to, to these systems and um, increase our turnout. So make sure Democrats get to vote across the state. In Kansas, that means that a lot of us are going to be able to really engage with the party a lot more. We're able to all participate. Vonami says caucus turnout is around 5%. 25% of voters tend to make it to the polls for primaries. And going back to talking about that ranked choice voting, that's something that only Kansas and Hawaii are doing. So our political expert that we talked to today said that while the country as a whole is moving away from caucuses, we're not moving towards that ranked choice voting that Kansas is using this year. Live in Overland Park, Abby Dodge, KC TV 5 News. Abby, thank you. And by the way, the Kansas GOP has decided not to hold a caucus this year.